Well, guys, it's kind of an unfortunately crappy day today. Um, now I'm heading back down to my house down at school for New Year's. But I wanted to get some more work done on this thing before I take off. Um, gonna keep plugging away at getting everything disconnected. I mean, I'm I'm being a bit more meticulous than I really ought to be pulling it. an engine that's going to the junkyard out. But I'm just getting little bit by little bit. I did get. The exhaust cut off, the manifold taken off. Um, Got to get the clutch cable disconnected and pull the drive shaft, engine transmission mounts. Uh, unfortunately, I did just have to vent the refrigerant. This thing did actually have good working AC on it, which is disappointing. I want to be losing that, um, especially since this is probably one of the few R12 systems in existence that still worked like it was supposed to. You know, without having any work done to it, so it's a little, little disappointing to be losing that. But at this point, I think I've got most things pulled off. Um, there's definitely a little bit left I've got to get, but I'm gonna get underneath it, throw some cardboard on the ground. The ground's pretty wet. Get under there and start pulling the drive shaft and see what all else under there needs to come off. Still don't think it's actually going to end up coming out today either, but at least it'll be ready to pull uh, as soon as I get back. And I, I might I might try and pull it today, we'll see. It really, really depends on how long getting all this stuff takes. Um, so yeah, I guess I'll, I'll get to work. So guys, the engine's out. I got the... Engine and transmission here pulled just a little while ago. Came out pretty easy. Um, ended up dumping a bunch of oil out the back of the transmission, but that, not not too surprising. Um, got them sitting right over here. See, this thing's definitely pretty small. Uh, so we did do some measurements. My dad and I broke out the tape measure and measure to figure out whether the bell housing is going to fit okay. The bell housing seems like it's fit. Uh, it's going to be interesting though. The exhaust is going to end up sticking like right in these area here and in here. So we're going to, I think we're going to have to get a little bit more creative than I was hoping. Um, the engine's also with the oil pan that comes on those trucks and the tall intake on them. That's going to be pushing the limits of what this thing will fit without sticking out the hood. Um, but, gonna go ahead and uh, push on through with it. Now, I, I, unfortunately, I think this is gonna end up being a longer project than I had originally hoped for. I was kind of hoping to get the engine into it in the next uh, two weeks or so. That doesn't seem like that's gonna happen now. It's, uh, there's quite a bit of things that need to be figured out fitment wise. Now, I, I had, do know that this has been done before. I have found a couple of guys who have done it, uh, but I'm, I think I'm doing things a little bit differently. Most of the ones I found actually are equipped with a turbo, which changes exhaust a lot, but we're going to see. Now, uh, actually, as we were pulling the engine and transmission out, the neighbors came over, and I just bought another car, 500 bucks. So, something to drive while I get this finished.